this meteor comes across the sky and blew up in my little four-year-old face. And then I stopped and said, whoa, is that cool? <laughs> no one cared to pull up in the limo and say, Mr. Carpenter, we're ready for you on the set. Was my, my dream was no, instead. My father called me on the phone and said, you know, you're going to have to change your lifestyle because I'm not going to support you anymore. So, <laughs> As I recall, I used the name of all my high school friends and sweethearts in some of my movies and the names of the streets in Bowling Green, just for laughs. Michael Myers was the distributor of Assault on Precinct 13, who single-handedly, with great love and affection, uh, got critics to come in and see it and enjoy it. I don't know what he did. I decided I would name the... Uh, the cold, merciless robotic killer after him. <laughs> after, after him. That guy never dealt with, with as great an actor as Donald, and he was one of my favorite actors. And, oh my God, he said, the only reason I'm here is my daughter saw Assault in Precinct 13 and said I should do this. So will you explain to me what's going on in this script? <laughs> oh, I, well, I, I, knew, I knew what was coming because they just released E.T. two weeks before. <laughs> oh, mama. And everybody was going in tears and uh, Bye. <laughs> We're dead. We're dead. It's Would you like to direct an interview with a vampire? Nope.